Welcome, my name is Jacob. Today we're going to do some chair yoga. And let's start right away by sitting up nice and tall, closing the eyes, and becoming aware of self, becoming present. Maybe there's a rooster around you waking you up, reminding you to stay with the now, whatever that means for you. A good tool is the breath, so we're going to follow the breath, deep inhales and exhales. And let's try to make our breath more about the lungs. With your inhale, inhale as much as you can. And exhale, you're exhaling all the breath in the body. A long inhale. And exhale. With the eyes closed, shift your hands to prayer position. And I invite you to find something that you are thankful for, a moment of gratitude. So I have to say I'm thankful for all these followers, all these people who are able to do these videos with me. And the fact that you're doing this video means that you've been gifted another day. With the inhale, open your eyes. And exhale, drop the hands by your side. We're starting with some breath work today. This is box breath, four count inhale, four count hold, six count exhale, four count hold. Those dealing with high blood pressure, you don't have to hold the breath as long. Let's start with a big exhale. We're breathing through the nose for this. Inhale for four, three, fill the lungs, two, one, pausing, holding for four, three, two, one, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold for four, three, relax, two, one, inhaling for four, three, two, full capacity, hold for four, Three, two, one long exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one holding, four, three, two, inhale, four, three, two, one and hold, four, three, two, one long exhale, six, Five, four, three, two, one, holding, four, three, two, our last round, inhale, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, we're holding, four, three, two, one. And open the eyes, breathing normally. This next breath work is called Kabbalah Bhati, fire breath. And for this, we're gonna be doing sharp exhales through the nose, almost as if you're blowing your nose. So the belly comes towards the spine as we push the breath out. If you've got congestion, you may want to pause the video and go blow your nose, clear your nose. We're going to hold the breath after we do 30 breath cycles of pushing the breath out, focusing on the exhale. You notice my shoulders are relaxed, my face is relaxed. I'm not pumping the shoulders or the head. It's all from the belly. I'm going to lift up my shirt to demonstrate and see what the belly's doing. So let's do this now. When we're holding the breath, hold it as long as you can. I mentioned before, if you're dealing with high blood pressure, you can leave this one out or just hold it momentarily and then breathe normally. 
If you feel lightheaded, you can stop at any point with this exercise. We are hyper oxygenating our system, so you may feel a little lightheaded. Let's start with a long exhale. And then inhale as deep as you can. Exhaling everything. Inhale three quarters of the way to the belly and we're beginning with a sharp exhale. Keep focusing on the exhale, let the body take care of the inhale. Let's do three more. One, two, three. Exhale everything. Inhale as much as you can and we're holding the breath as long as we can. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. We're holding the breath. If you feel the body fighting, you can breathe. If you feel you could hold us a little bit longer, become aware of your heart. You're perhaps feeling it beating. Let the sounds be around you, even if they're not sounds that you want. Again, if you need to breathe, breathe. If you can hold the breath, hold. And if you haven't started breathing already, breathing normally. If you feel you could hold longer, you can pause the video at any point. Some people can hold the breath up to two minutes. And let's do another cycle of this Kabbalah Bhati. I call this my morning coffee. It wakes you up, yeah? Let's inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale three quarters of the way and begin pushing the breath out. Focus on navel to spine. If you can speed it up, speed it up. Ten more. Exhale everything. Inhale as much as you can, holding the breath as long as you can. Draw the chin in towards the neck. Feel the energy traveling up the spine, illuminating the skull. This could just be metaphorical. Relax the jaw, relax the shoulders. Feel the oxygen transferring to the body or using the imagery of the energy traveling up the spine, illuminating the skull, shining skull. If you need to breathe, that's okay. If you can hold the breath, hold the breath. Relax, become aware of the heart. If you can breathe, if you need to breathe, you can breathe. Again, you're welcome to pause the video. Breathing normally. Let's continue. We're going to keep the belly still and focus on the lungs now. Breathing through the nose. Big inhale, puff up the chest. And exhale. By me is uh, flowers in bloom, so there's a sweet aroma this morning. Inhale to the lungs, puff up the chest. And exhale. 
With an inhale, extend your arms out to the side and flex the fingers back towards your head. Move the lungs with the breath. And let's open the fingers as wide as we can and then make fists. So we're opening and closing the hands. And with your exhale, let's release the hands down, down by our thighs. We'll roll out the shoulders. Placing the hands to our shoulders, or if you like, you can extend the arms. Inhale, sit up tall, and exhale, twisting. Again, there is the alternate of hands on shoulders. Let's stay in this twist and breathe. Inhale, come back to center, lengthen the spine, and exhale, we're twisting to the next side. Inhale to center. Let's move with the breath now. Exhale, we're twisting. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, we'll do one more set, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale the center, exhale, release the hands by your side, and roll out those shoulders again. Inhale or raise one arm up to the sky. Hand could either be on your thigh or hold onto the chair or your armrest. If you have, exhale. Let's lean over to one side. Stretch the body by really expanding the rib cage with your breath. Inhale, we'll come back to center. Exhale, the next side, reach up and over. Inhale, come back to center, extending both arms to the sky. Let's look up to the thumbs, but keep length to the back of the neck. If this does hurt the neck, then keep the gaze forward. Pressing the palms, straightening the arms as much as we can. Bringing our hands back down to our thighs. Let's focus on the hands a little bit before we continue. Opening and closing the hands as much as we can. And then spread the fingers wide, wide, wide. And then making circles with the wrists. Change directions. Very good. And then make fists. Really squeeze the fists and let's do circles with hands and fists. Change directions. Very good. Coming into our version of the sun salutation. And you might want to shift forward if you're not on the edge of your mat. Feet a little wider than the hips. Inhale, arms come up to the sky, press the palms. You can keep the gaze forward or look up to the thumbs if it's okay on the neck. And then exhale, we're bending the knees or bending the elbows and folding forward. Knees are bent already. Inhale, let's bring our hands up onto our shins. Make our spine as straight as we can. And then exhale around the spine. Drop the head. Firm your belly. Inhale, arms and chest come all the way back up. This might be way too much for your low back. And exhale, hands to heart center. If that's the case, then modifications are that hands would walk up and down the legs. I'll show you this version. Inhale, arms float up. If you're okay with the hands being by your side, just keep them there. 
Otherwise, exhale, hands come down and we'll walk the hands down the legs, releasing the head. Inhale the straight spine. We're all coming to the straight, straight, straight back. And then exhale, rounding the spine, drop the head. Inhale, hands can walk up the legs if you need that support. And then arms float up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms float up. I'm coming back to the first variation, but you stay with what's right for you. Exhale, we're folding forward. Inhale, hands on your shins. Lengthen the spine. And exhale, we're folding forward. Firming the belly. Inhale, arms, chest come back up. And exhale, hands to heart center. We've got two more. I'm going to do one with just the sound of the breath. So if you need to watch, you can watch. Inhale. this next one. Inhale, arms float up. You might have noticed the breath sounds a bit like ocean waves and breathing through that nose. And exhale, you're folding forward. Inhale, long spine. And exhale, folding forward. Inhale, arms and chest come back up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hands to your thighs, sit up tall. So we're going to do a version of Sun Salutation 2. You can draw the heels back a little bit closer to the chair. And with the exhale, we're coming forward slightly and lifting the bum. And lowering back down. If this is easy for you, more of a challenge with hands on hips. Exhale, coming up just a little bit if you can and hover and lower back down. If you want to strengthen the inner thighs, another variation is knees together. Exhale, hands could stay on thighs or hands to hips if this is not too much of a challenge for your knees or low back. Let's do a few more of these. Exhale. Lifting. If you're okay with it, want more of a challenge, you could extend the arms up. And then we'll bring the hands back down and lower down. Ooh, build in some fire. Two more. Exhale, we're lifting. Option to just stay here or extend the arms. Or coming back down. Another variation would be hands could stay on the chair or your armrests. I'll show you that version for the last one. So just lifting the hips. And lowering back down. Let's do one more. Exhale, we're lifting. I'm going to try the most challenging variation. And exhale, we're coming back down. Very good. Inhale, we'll open the legs. Arms float up. A little back bend, so opening the chest upwards. And then exhale, we're folding forward. Inhale, the hands on shins. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, coming back up. See if you can find a little bit of a back bend. And exhale, hands to heart. Hands to the, the chair. And shift the hips forward. We're going to do a reverse plank. We'll start with bent knees. So pressing down with the hands. Inhale, lift the hips. And exhale, lower down. If this is really easy and you want to work harder, you're just walking the feet further out and trying to do straighter legs. Inhale, we're lifting the hips. And exhale down. Not lifting the chin so much, we're keeping the gaze forward. We'll do two more of these. Inhale, we're lifting. And exhale down. I'm going to come back to the easier variation for the last one, but you could stay with straight legs. Inhale, we're lifting. And exhale down, giving those wrists a break by opening and closing the hands.
hands to one knee with your exhale draw that knee up towards your belly and inhale lowering it back down moving with the breath exhale or drawing it up inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale one more exhale inhale I lied one more exhale draw the knee up and hold sit up tall and exhale lower down coming to our next side with the exhale drawing the knee up Yes, the hands are helping, but we're using our abdominals here. So draw the navel in as the knee comes up, contracting our pelvic floor. In other videos, you've heard me this described as what you use, what muscles you use to stop pee, to stop urination. So that's engaged. Two more. Exhale, we're drawing the knee up and holding, breathing. And lowering ourselves back down. We'll shift over to the edge of our chair. So I'm shifting over to my right edge of the chair and then stepping the right foot back or the foot that is closest to the edge that you've slid over to. Step that foot back. Front foot forward. If this is too much for the low back, you could bring the foot forward or bend that back knee a little bit. Hands to the hips and let's try to tuck our pelvis forward here. Really engaging the abdominals. B, bring awareness to the low ribs, pull them in, knit the ribs in, but we're still puffing up the lungs also as we're breathing. Hands could stay here or extending the arms to the sky. Gaze could stay forward or bring them slightly upwards. Three more breaths here. And exhale, hands come down to the ground. Let's all keep our hand on the thigh inhale right arm reaches up or the side that is the leg back and exhale we're leaning over to the side you can keep the gaze forward or look up to the sky for this one inhale coming back to center let's step both feet to the front and slide over to our next side And if you're on the left side, then the left foot steps back. Hands to your hips. You can stabilize by shifting the right foot forward or the front foot forward. And then tuck your pelvis forward, engage those abdominals. Hands are welcome to stay on the hips or inhale, arms float up. Bringing the gaze slightly up upwards. A micro back bend in this position. Offering the heart upwards. Exhale, we're all bringing our hands back down to our thighs. Inhale, same side as the leg that's back, that arm lifts, or your left arm. Exhale, reaching over to the side. We'll look up to the sky, breathe. Inhale, we're coming back to center and releasing the hand down. We'll step the feet to the front and then slide over to center. Let's open the legs as wide as we can. If you're dealing with armrests, then you might need to slide forward a little bit or adjust your pants. Goddess pose, turning the toes out. Send the knees back so you're pressing down with the big toes. And then inhale, bring the arms up to almost like a cactus arm. Nice breathing here. Two more breaths. And exhale, hands come back down. We'll step those feet back together. We'll extend the leg. Sit up nice and tall. 
flex that foot and then exhale folding forward hands could stay on the chair or walk the hands down the legs hands could even come down to the ground I'm noticing this chair is digging a little bit into my hamstring so shifting forward if that's the case for you some good breaths here Walking the hand back up the leg, bring yourself back up, changing sides, bend the knee, extend the next leg, flex that foot, and now sit up tall. Hands could stay on chair or hips, or walk the hands down the legs I'm doing. Maybe hands down to the ground. It's not important that the hands get there, just really working with the range of your flexibility. And inhale, bringing yourself back up, placing the hands to your chair, lean yourself back, and then with the exhale, we're lifting the knees. If this is too much, you can do one leg at a time. Avoiding any jerking action, try to keep it slow and controlled. I'm going to come back to the two legs. Let's rotate the legs now to one side. Stay on that side for a few. Again, if you're doing the one leg variation, a little bit off to the side. Yeah. Two more on this side. The exhale, we're making our effort. Very good. And then changing sides. Two more. Very good. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, and then exhale, we'll bring the ankle to the knee, sitting up tall, and then fold forward. Hands could stay on the shin or walk the arms down, releasing the head if that's available. Three more full breaths. And inhale, we're coming back up. We're changing sides. Cross the ankle or the knee, sit up tall. And exhale, folding forward. Hands could stay on the ankle or the knee, or walking the hand down or releasing the head. And you may notice one side is tighter than the other. Very normal to have asymmetry in the body. And inhale, bringing yourself back up. We're uncrossing the leg. We'll place one hand to the knee, one hand to the hip, sit up tall, and exhale, we're twisting. Looking over the shoulder, deep breaths in this twist. Inhale, you're coming back to center, changing sides. Place the hand on knee and hip. Long spine and then deep in your twist. Inhale back to center. We're revisiting pigeon pose by placing the ankle on the knee. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, your chance to go a little bit longer. If you want to get more into the hips, think of long spine rather than rounded spine. And inhale, bringing yourself back up, uncrossing the legs, changing sides. This foot is flexing, and we're sitting up tall, long spine, hinge at the hips. And inhale, coming back to center, uncross the legs. Let's do three breaths with the arms. Inhale as much as you can, arms float up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms floating up, puff up the chest. 
and exhale. Inhale, arms float up. And exhale. We'll bring our hands to our thighs. Find a comfortable seated position, long spine for a short meditation. Closing the eyes. Shoulders relax. Get the head in line with the spine. That may mean draw the head back slightly. Using the breath to become as present as possible. Keeping the eyes closed, we'll shift our hands to a prayer position. And we're going to close our practice. You can keep your eyes closed. And close our practice with three breaths to the heart. Inhale, fill the heart as much as you can. Feel it rise. And exhale, send that out into the world. Inhale, fill the heart with love. And exhale, we're sending that out into the world. Inhale, fill the heart with light. And exhale, send that out into the world. Slowly open your eyes. Thank you for joining me in this practice. Namaste. Hey, if you enjoyed this class and would like to see more videos, you can subscribe to the channel by hitting that red subscription button below. If you feel like you'd like to donate financially, there is a PayPal link in the description below. And I have a special announcement. I'm starting some online chair yoga classes. That's live streamed. If you'd like to join, put a comment below and I will send you the information. Lastly, I want to share with you a gratitude practice. So here in Trinidad, it's starting to become mango season and I'm very thankful for the gifts from a friend who gave me a Julie mango and also a star fruit. In Trinidad, this is called a five finger, I guess because there's five fingers there. And so sweet and juicy. Look how big this is. I'm also seeing that the bachak, the leaf cutting ants here, found it in my kitchen and enjoyed a little bit too. Have a wonderful day. Give thanks.